Hello Wealthy Family and welcome to today's video, today's Mindset Monday. Thank you for coming and sharing some time with me. I love and appreciate you all so much. So I wanted to talk about why it's important to have a fluid mindset, why you must be able to adapt, okay, and be able to change. Now. When I say a fluid mindset, I don't want you to think that I mean just be all over the place willy-nilly and not have anything locked down set for yourself. No. Have your foundation. Have your scruples. Have your principles. Have what you will or will not be. Know yourself. But when you know yourself and you know what you wit and ain't wit, right, in my <laughs> what I tell people, right, in my common vernacular, right, when you know what you are willing to do and are not willing to do, you can experience different situations and have a peripheral view. You'll have a complete view of what is going on so that you can adapt to the situation to best appease you. Now, things are changing rapidly. Rapidly. The days are flowing flying by things are changing rapidly okay situations are changing the way how we used to do things are pretty much gone right the old way on how we used to do things is pretty much gone a lot of people are going to come out on the other side of the situations that's happening right now in their everyday lives a completely different person okay now this is going to happen whether you're with it or not if you are with it you can change and adapt yourself your mentality and the way you conduct things to suit you you can have a nice mixture of the ways how you used to do things with the new ways of getting things done. You'll be able to grow, right? But if you are not with it, if you are against it and trying so hard to hold on to the old way of things and not allowing yourself to be open to the different scenario or the different ways on how you can come to the same comfortability of your lifestyle, then you're going to either become obsolete, you take that however way you want, your ways are going to become either obsolete, or you're going to be bulldozed, plowed through, beaten up, and then made to conform. So which way do you want it to be? Because as human beings, our mind is always absorbing information. Although the majority of things that we go through and experience in the way how we think is solidified when we are children, although the more majority of that happens, we are still malleable. Our brain is malleable. We can ignite new connections at all times. You can be 55 years old and learn something new and take off, okay? But you have to be open and adaptable to the different things that are out there for you. If you are stuck in your old ways, if you're stuck in saying, you know what, I always got my information from XYZ and now XYZ is gone. When I was younger, I lived in a library. I had a complete set of encyclop Encyclopedia Britannicas. It also helped that I was <laughs> had older siblings and my mom was pretty was up in age, so you know, they held on to those things, right? But I had a complete set of Encyclopedia Britannica. And if you don't even know what that is, if you think it's something that's only online, boy, do I have something for you. It's bound, it's leather brown bound books, sealed with gold writing and all the information you want, separated from A to Z. Some topics you had to have like oh, two volumes because it was so much. Right, and they came out with it updated. And I always got my information from the Encyclope Encyclopedia Britannica or the library if I needed to go outside of that. And then as computers started coming in with age and I was in school and they were teaching us how to type and how to set up an email address, and now you can 
find certain things here on the internet and I was like no I'm only getting my information from the Encyclopedia Britannica and when they finally announced when Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia Britannica announced that they were no longer publishing their books that everything is going to be online if I was so stuck in my ways I'd be SOL out of luck right now but because I was able to adapt and change and say you know what okay I need to move with the times I was able to stay ahead. Now, do I still use Encyclopedia, Encyclopedia Britannica online? Not so much. <laughs> it's changed. But I've been adaptable to it. So I could grow with it. I realized that the old way of doing things, the old way of, of remembering things wasn't working and I didn't want to beat myself up anymore by trying to hold on to the old. I still have my scruples and my principles. I still regard myself on going to trusted sources such as what the Encyclope Encyclopedia Britannica was deemed as. It was deemed as a trusted source. It was deemed as the guru of information. So I still pride myself on going to sources like that but it's just not in the Encyclopedia Britannica anymore. Times have changed. So I must be able to change with the times. Now if I decided that you know what Times are changing, but I'll just continue to get my information from whatever who shot John. Or I continue to do the same habits and traits with who shot John. And I'm getting beaten up every single day and I'm lagging behind and it's not so serving me. And I just can't understand why I can't move ahead. That's shooting myself in the foot. Because I don't want to be malleable. I don't want to be open that there's other avenues out there. So with that being said, when things start changing, when the way we eat starts changing, when you, the way we use and view money or currency starts changing, when the people who have been given a status of celebrity or the people who are in power or government starts changing, when the way how we view ourselves as beautiful individuals starts changing you want to be able to adapt to that and realize okay this is not such a bad thing let me see how I can adapt to this to mend my two worlds my old world and my new world so I can grow how is it that you can combine those how is it you can, can blend those because if you don't learn how to do that if you don't learn to be adaptable and allow yourself to grow and allow your brain to ignite the new connections that are sitting there dormant waiting for waiting to be ignited they're just waiting just give me some new information so i can be ignited that's all our brain synapses wants us to do and a lot of people are just like huh no i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get no new information i'm gonna stick to what it is that i have i like my you know i like the way i netflix and show right now i'm just throwing it out as an example nothing's wrong with that i personally like to watch a good movie and snuggle with my hubby but when you, when you decide to allow those things to penetrate you, penetrate your mind, and form your thinking, and you become adaptable, you stay ahead of the game. Because the majority of people are not doing that. It's time to get ahead of the game. But we have to realize that things change. It's the one constant thing in this universe. It's change. So it's important to have an adaptive mentality, a malleable mentality, where you can say, you know what, I can be flexible. I still have my foundations and my scruples that I'm not compromising, but I see the way things are going and I need to change and adapt to it. Internet is taking off, but the way how we're using the internet is going to be changing. We have to be prepared for that. And the first way the first way you prepare for that is to put blinders on and start focusing more on you so you know what your foundation is and you know what you want to be set on so you know what you wit and ain't with. And once you have that locked down, now you can go in and start interacting. You can go in and start picking up information from other places and know what's going to serve you and what's not going to serve you. Not every video I make on this channel is for everyone. It's not. And I'm okay with that. 
I see a flux where people subscribe and unsubscribe and that's fine too. Because I have a malleable mentality. I under I understand how this works. I understand the flow of energy and the way how things change and how people sometimes don't like change. And that has to change as well. It's the one constant thing in the universe. Your body quite literally changes every 35 days based off the food that you feed it. Your brain is part of that. So allow yourself to know yourself first. And then secondly, allow yourself to gather information so you can be as uh, the prophet Messiah Jesus is said to be, which is be all things to all men. Be able to commune with people who are in high power, everyday regular people, and even lower level people. Know how to identify and commune with them on every level. So wealthy family, that is all that I have for you today. Be adaptable. Be ready to be adaptive, okay? And until we meet again, stay alert, stay aware, and live in love.